What's going on you pools of elephant grease, the mighty sound wave here. And right now it's Easter Sunday. And you know, most people will go to like, you know, their their aunt, their aunts, their uncles, their cousins' house, their grandma's, their in-laws' house, their stepmother's, great grandpa's, younger sister's house, maybe. Uh, but no, uh, me and my family and my friend, we all went to Pizza Hut and had some pizza, and it, it was a great time, I'm not gonna lie, it was actually just kinda neat, you know, just for us to all go to Pizza Hut, we actually, like, dressed up for the occasion, like, you have to dress up for Pizza Hut, I don't know, but, uh, there's some things I wanna talk about, cause it's been a good past weekend for me, I've been doing a lot of really great things, and just all around, a lot of great things went down. I drove a car for the first time, and you're probably like, wait, you're 16, you should have your license. Well, no, uh, I didn't. I don't even have my permit yet, to be quite honest. Last year, I just didn't really find any interest, you know, to go get my permit or anything like that. Mainly because this year, I actually took driver's ed at school. Well, not at school, but I took driver's ed, like, on my online schooling. And I'm just waiting for my teacher to, like, send me some, like, certificate or something so I can go to the driver's ed place and get my, you know permit and all that but I actually drove a car for the first time I was just you know riding home because I, I, I had a good time yesterday I went out I had Applebee's with my mother we went to Walmart and then we came home and I pulled into my I have a huge neighborhood and I pulled into my cul-de-sac and I was like you know what I'm gonna drive and she's like really you want to drive and I'm like yeah let's do it come on I, it'll be my first time and it's a really good time to do it it was dark out too so the first time I ever drove shut up phone so, you know, I got I got out of the, the shotgun seat or Chewy. I don't know. When you guys, you know, sit in the right seat of a car, do you call it shotgun or Chewy? Uh, because you guys know that in Star Wars that Chewbacca always sits in the right seat and the Millennium Falcon. Um, we'll do that sometimes. We'll either call shotgun or Chewy. But I'm getting off topic. You know, we switch and I sit in the left seat and I'm just like, okay, this is weird. It felt so not normal. I was just like... This is weird. Now, I didn't even know where the gas pedal was. I mean, there was a brake and a pedal. I mean, I played Gran Turismo before, but that's an X button, and you steer with your left toggle on the PS3 controller. That's a completely different situation to this. And I go, and I finally learned that you can't drive with two feet. That's actually illegal. So I actually learned something that day. But I actually went, and I went around my cul-de-sac, and then I, I came up. So I did like a like a U-turn type thing, and then I came up, and I drove into my house, and I did it, and I was just like, Wow, that was actually not that easy. I was actually very scared at first when I first pushed on the pedal. I'm like, oh boy, it's happening. And then I wanted to like line up the house just 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 because. And I did the whole you know put it into reverse. And, you know, I just learned all the things. And I was just like, you know, the first time I was driving, you know, it's a it's a big deal. You know, we always go through our you know main things in life that we do. You know, it was like, oh, before you die, you need to do this. And that was one of those things a man just has to do, or a woman, I guess. But whatever. Something else crazy that happened, I woke up this morning finding out that I won a grand prize. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this commentator before. She's a girl commentator. Her name is Girl Gone Gamer, one of the very few uh, chick commentators that are out there. I actually won the uh, grand prize from one of her giveaways. I don't know why I entered. I just kind of like, you know, I'm just going to enter this. You know, maybe I'll win, maybe I won't. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. It's not like I really wanted it, but I'm like, I won, and I was just like, what? Like, this is exactly what happened. Now, I have it so that when, like, you know, I had a so 402 when he like had an update about Modern Warfare 3 or JD 2020, whatever would have an update. I would know immediately like when a new map is coming out, just cause I wanted to be updated. And uh, you know, whenever someone like t tweets at me on uh, Twitter that I'm following, you know, it goes to my phone, and I saw that girl gone gamer. Congratulations, Soundwave Rocks 96 for winning my grand prize of my giveaway. And I was just like, what? Really? I actually won. I was just like surprised, and I'm just like. Really? Like, I'm not the kid to ever win a giveaway, and it's just, of all times, I'm just like, wow, this is just, like, crazy, just because you don't think that would ever happen. Like, you enter it, and you completely forget about five minutes later, you're on a whole new subject on, like, what time you're going to get to, you know, Taco Bell with your brother, like, a completely different subject, but I actually won, and I won, like, a, a Halo Reach for the Xbox, obviously, you know, it's only for the Xbox, and I think I won, like, an iTunes $10 gift card or something, so that's... That's pretty awesome. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the Halo Reach. Maybe I could give it away to you guys if you want. But, I mean, that's weird. Like, she's giving it away to someone. Like, oh, I'm going to give it to somebody. But if I gave it away, I don't know if she'd care too much. But, you know, maybe I could give it away to you guys just because it would be nice. Not asking for subs. Just give it away because it would be a nice thing to do. 
Now, I don't know if you guys saw my video a couple days ago when I had my top six favorite YouTubers. Now, I didn't want to do top five because that's what, you know, everybody does. Like, top five this and top three, top five, top three. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be different. Top six. So I did my top six favorite commentators. And I said at the end of the video, if any of them comment on this video, I will give myself a swirly. What do you know? Rock Lobster and Wicked Shrapnel both commented on my video. For one, I was thrilled just because, like, Someone I look up to on YouTube actually commented on one of my videos, and you know, that's just a pretty exciting thing. Now, I've had Wicked Strap, and I'll do it before, but Rock, he is the reason I bought a Hop Hog HDP. Like, I blame him, because, you know, he's the first one I started watching. Wet for Black Ups came out. You know, I'd watch him. I couldn't think of anybody else I actually really watched, but I was thrilled when I did that. Now I have to give myself a swirly. I'm not, I don't know when I'm going to do my swirly, but I will soon. Uh, I was, you know... I always keep my promise, you know, I'm not going to just say, oh, I'm going to do this if that happens. I mean, I'm going to prove it to you guys. I will give myself a swirly, and it's going to be a pretty fun video. I mean, I'm not going to wait, like, nine months to do a pudding dolphin dive like White Boy did last year, but, you know, I'm going to, I'll do it relatively soon, like, here in a week, couple of days, or something like that, but you guys can definitely look forward to that video. A swirly, if you don't know what a swirly is, you basically put your head in a toilet and flush, and it goes upon you, and it's... You just gotta live through it, you know, you gotta do that, that's what happens when you say, hey, I'll give myself a swirly, but anyways, you know, the link to that video will be at, you know, the end of the video, because, you know, there'll be a little thing that says, previous video, and you can head over there and you can see that video, and also, if you want to see, you know, Girl Gone Gamer, the link to her channel will be in the description as well. Now, something that's really thrilled about is Flight Simulator X finally came in the mail. Now, I'm not going to talk about this too much just because, but I'm going to start making some Flight Simulator X videos soon. I'm going to be getting a new graphics card for my computer because integrated graphics is not just, it's not the best thing to do. So I'm going to work on, you know, get myself a new graphics card and all that, and I'm going to start producing some videos. But, uh, I don't know if any of you guys know anything about airplanes or vehicles. Now, you probably watched my video, you're probably in a Battlefield 3 or Call of Duty or something like that. And you're probably like, oh, fly a, a, an SR-71 or fly a stealth bomber. Now, I I can get those, definitely get those. But if you guys have any suggestions for flight simulators, like what do you want me to do, what kind of airplane, I can pretty much get any aircraft or airline and a lot of military planes as well. And I can like, I can crash it. Now, I, they don't have like spectacular crashes because it's a simulator, you're not supposed to crash. But, um, you know, I can do takeoffs and landings and all that good stuff, but... It's going to be a little bit until I get my graphics card. If you guys have any suggestions on that, please write in the comments below. If you know anything about airplanes, I'll definitely, you know, consider making a video on it. Well, that's all I have for today, and I hope you guys had a nice Easter. And take it easy, guys. The Mighty Sound Wave here, and I am out, and I want to cover myself in elephant grease in the morning. Goodbye.